Hey guys, Megatrue here from The Hub, back with another video. And um, today we are talking about something I got into an argument about on a server recently. It like literally divided the server when it happened, it was amazing to be honest. So we're talking about whether the Super Crown power up counts as Rule 63. So basically that means it's Bowser at Rule 63. Because Bowser is the only example that you can really use because who wants to say Princess King Boo? Princess King Boo wet like 5,000 times. So basically, let's start off with what Rule 63 is. Rule 63 is an internet rule that states For every male character, there is a female version, no exceptions, 63.2. For every female character, there is a male version, no exceptions. Yeah, I'm still on rule six. Sorry, I got distracted. Rule sixty-three point three. For every asexual character, there is a version for each sex. No exceptions. Sixty-three point four. Rule sixty-three, sixty-three point two, and sixty-three point three does not include real people. Too much work. No exceptions. Sixty-three point five. Real people are ruled unworthy. Sixty-three point six. Rule 63.4 and 63.5 are lies. Real people can and will be gender bent, no exceptions. And just to check, I'm just gonna. Brendan, Yuri, Rule 63. Okay, yep, that's happened. This, this, this happened, sort of. Yeah, yeah, it has happened. Oh my god. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna click off now. Okay. Okay, so that is what the actual definitions of each part of Rule 63 is. So, what does this actually mean? Well, it specifically states that there is a female version, a male version. The version means an AU, which stands for Alternative Universe. Rule 63 is inherently an AU of one character of or the entire world that character is from. Changes that happen in this AU are permanent, hence why it is a version and not just, like, temporary. For example, in Adventure Time, you have complete episodes dedicated to Rule 63. For example, Princess Bubblegum's Rule 63 counterpart is Prince Gumble. Princess Bubblegum has and always will be a girl. Prince Gumble has and always will be a boy. There's Marceline and Marshall Lee. Marceline has always and will be always a girl. Marshall Lee has always been and will always be a boy. Finn and Fiona. Finn has always been and will always be a boy. Fiona has always been and will always be a girl. Now, there's always, that is just generally the alternative universe, but there's always the subject of gender bend potions. Now, in that case, there is one variable that separates it from Rule 63, and that variable is whether or not the change is permanent. If the change is permanent, then it technically counts as a female version, so it's technically Rule 63. If this is temporary, then it is not permanent, which is technically not a female version, or male version, which does not count as Rule 63. Now I'm saying technically because of the word version. Since the character starts off as so a male character that takes version and becomes a female character, that is not a version. That is like a bunch of voodoo magic. Which can theoretically be undone even if the change is permanent. However, I personally would never class these as Rule 63, hence the technically. Because potions 
and all that nonsense, where gender bend is artificial instead of a birthright, you can technically idealise that character. For example, um, I'm going to just use um, one of my characters as an example because it's easy, I made Rule 63 versions of them. So there's my character, Grayson. Just a guy, ectomorph, body type, slim, whatever. Now his Rule 63 version, still an ectomorph, doesn't have a lot of shape to him. To her, she's just pretty much a twig. However, if Grayson were to take a potion, that potion would most likely idealise him into the most ideal for my ex. So, you know, big boobs, big vert, you know, you know just all that nonsense. So that is why I do not really count artificial gender bend instead of gender bend by birthright as rule 63. And this is why I do not class the super crown as rule 63. Now super crown does something I'm going to be calling peachify someone. Now I'm just going to flash up a definition of peachify I made up on the screen now. Okay let's move on. When Bowser wears the super crown, he becomes Bowsette. He is made to have his appearance look more similar to Peach. When Toadette, Toad, Toadette, yes, Toadette puts on the super crown, she becomes Peachette, who has appearance more similar to Peach. At any time, this crown can be knocked off. Therefore, this change isn't permanent, which means it's not Rule 63, even under a technicality. It is also not a gender bend of the character. The Super Crown is designed to make the characters look like Peach, basically become a Peach clone, but retaining some aspects of the original character. This is why the Super Crown power-up does not count as Rule 63. First, it's a temporary change, it's not permanent, the crown can be knocked off, taken off at any time, thus reversing the change, and is not a female version of a male character. It's just a peach version of the character that wears the crown. The super crown also does not make female characters into guys, they make female characters into peach clones, which therefore means since the power-up doesn't work, making both opposite and only peach vice, it is therefore not Rule 63, as Rule 63 is defined by the opposite gender version, which is almost always a birthright, without one technicality, because someone's going to argue with me about it, namely bloody Chris on my server. Well, not my server, on my friend's server. I'm too tired for this. Oh my god, anyway. Yeah, Chris. This is just blame Chris. It's all his fault that this video exists. Okay, so in conclusion, Rule 63 is where a character by birthright is the opposite gender to the canon one, or something creates a permanent change in that character, which isn't an idealized version of the opposite gender of that character. The Super Crown is not Rule 63, because it is not a permanent change, and it peachifies the character instead of making them the opposite gender. That is that simple, okay? I swear, if anyone tries to correct me on this, I will actually hit them. Also, the speed draw you're seeing in the background, yeah, because I'm doing speed draws now, because I'm too lazy to edit, is um, Handsome Jack Et. Handsome Jack Et. When I did this, someone said in the art channel, when I was showing it, like a picture of a jacket, and said, this is my handsome jacket. And I'm just sat there like, yeah. They just, it was just very, very unfortunate. But this is the end of the video now. It's done. You should understand it thoroughly now. If you still say it's Rule 63, for now we'll get smacked. Anyway, this is Megatrio from The Hub signing out. Make love to the subscribe button or whatever, smack up the like button, just do things that make the analytics go green, for the love of God, please. Thank you, and this is Megatrio from The Hub signing out.